Three Steps to Cellulite-Free Perfect Thighs It's hard to believe, but some women will rather carry belly fat than be seen with thighs cellulite. You probably would think, who is crazy enough to think that way? But you would be surprised. Just imagine the names associated with cellulite. You can see why someone would prefer belly fat over thighs cellulite. Thighs cellulite has been called all sorts of names. Orange peel, lumpy pockets, cottage cheese, hail damage, and the most irritating one, unsightly. Cellulite refers to the unsightly, lumpy fats that press up against the skin. Even though medical researchers are still unable to fully explain what causes it or what factors increase the risk of developing it, everybody agrees that it is unattractive. Estimates claim that as many as 80 to 90 percent of all women are affected by cellulite. The percentage is much lower for men. Cellulite can collect in any area of the body where the fat cells are more densely distributed, like the upper arms, the stomach, and the buttocks. However, it is most obvious and most common on the backs and sides of the thighs. The dimpled appearance can cause many women to feel insecure about their bodies. If you're one of those women or men who has suffered from this problem, we will walk you through steps that can help you become cellulite-free. Number 1. Water, water, water. Increase your daily water intake. Water is an underrated substance. It has no calories and can enhance the body's ability to burn fat. Having adequate water in the body also promotes the skin's production of collagen, which strengthens skin structure. This may reduce the appearance of cellulite because a stronger structure gives the skin a more toned look. Number 2. Try a lymphatic massage. One of the theories that explained the existence of cellulite is the so-called lymph theory. The lymphatic system, which plays a huge role in immune system function, is often dubbed as the body's garbage disposal system. When the flow of the lymph fluid is less than optimal, it encourages the body to store the toxins in out-of-the-way areas so that they stay out of circulation. And this happens to take the form of cellulite. The lymphatic massage is simply a technique that involves deep, long strokes going towards the nearest collection of lymph nodes. For example, on the thighs, the stroke will need to start from above the knee area upwards towards the groin. For a targeted approach, use foam rollers or a rolling pin on your thighs. Again, this is based on the lymph theory. Using a rolling motion on the cellulite deposits is said to improve circulation and encourages the release of fat and toxins from the pockets. To get results, however, it needs to be done consistently, preferably before you even get out of bed in the morning. Just like a lymphatic massage, the roller strokes should start from above the knee going towards the groin. Number 3. Exercise moderately at least three times a week. Being overweight is one of the factors that can aggravate cellulite since it contributes to the swelling of the fat pockets. Physical exercise also burns up excess fat, which is what cellulite is made of. However, for women who are already at a healthy weight, dropping the pounds may not work because it will simply loosen the skin and make the lumps more obvious. Instead, the emphasis should be on firming and toning up the thigh muscles to get a smoother appearance. Do toning exercises that target the thigh, like leg lifts, squats, pilates, and yoga. There is no shortcut to getting rid of cellulite for good, so be patient and consistent, and commit to eating healthy and balanced diet daily. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please share with your friends. And please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already done so.